Jahi the former second in command in the Dark Realm but who was defeated and sent into the human world, finds a magic crystal in the middle of the road. However, she feels like this is a trap and that the magical girl is waiting to ambush her. In case the manhole is a pitfall trap, Jahi tries to carefully remove the crystal, but she also wonders if the magical girl rigged the crystal to explode. Boss arrives and Jahi almost falls onto the crystal in a panic. Jahi watches as Boss starts to pick up the crystal, and she tries to stop Boss from triggering the trap. But Jahi accidentally dives onto the crystal and picks it up. An exhausted Jahi congratulates herself for defeating the magical girl's trap. The next day she and Kokoro meet at a large park to look for magic crystals, and Jahi is happy that Kokoro is such a good minion. Jahi also finds herself distracted by the play structures in the park. She decides to give Kokoro a flower as a gift, but finds and attacks a group of adults surrounding Kokoro. Jahi becomes horrified because she helped defend a human, but becomes happy when Kokoro appreciates the flower. Suddenly police officers arrive in the park and Jahi takes Kokoro to run from the law. They hide in a play structure but are immediately discovered. Jahi decides to distract them and lead them on a chase, but is quickly captured and Boss has to bail her out. A black and white dog walks down the street barking at other animals, and the dog is actually Sava who had a plan to turn Jahi into a defenseless dog, but accidentally turns herself into a Sheba when she mistakes her potion for tea. Since she can't do anything about it, she decides to go outside and runs into a dog that had previously attacked her. Suddenly Jahi appears, and Sava finds herself overwhelmed by her new dog senses as she plays with Jahi. Sava soon becomes sad because she actually really enjoys being a dog. When it starts to rain, the landlady arrives thinking that Sava is astray and helps her, and after some time Sava changes back. That night, Jahi imagines playing with the dog she met. Jahi is looking forward to a beach vacation, but she is actually working at Boss and the landlady's beach shack. With a rise of unfortunate accidents at the beach, Jahi wonders if there is a magic crystal nearby and she goes to look for it. However, her job keeps her from searching effectively. She watches as more misfortune happens and helps several beachgoers that are having accidents, such as being attacked by jellyfish, attacked by sharks, and getting lost at sea. And she unintentionally becomes a hero at the beach. She almost gives up when it becomes morning, but stumbles upon lots of shards in the water that she collects in buckets. Jahi celebrates but landlady reminds her she still needs to work. Drudge is becoming bored running a large company even if she is generating record profits and is unhappy, until she sees Jahi at a park and sits with her. Jahi tells her she might be working too hard and she should relax, and Drudge is shocked because she is used to Jahi abusing her for useless work. Drudge is unhappy that Jahi seems to be more relaxed and less abusive in the human world, and Jahi senses that something is wrong and thinks Drudge has uncovered her lies that she defeated the magical girl. Instead, Drudge starts to break down, accusing Jahi of becoming more human-like and begs her to treat her with more cruelty. Jahi is grossed out, which makes Drudge incredibly happy and Jahi remembers that Drudge was an idiot in the Dark Realm. Jahi assures Drudge that she is still working on rebuilding the Dark Realm, and that Drudge doesn't have to worry about the human realm softening her attitude. But after Drudge leaves, Jahi goes to play with Kokoro. Soon it is time for Jahi to fight the magical girl Kaiyuko, and with the crystals she has been able to collect she challenges the magical girl to a duel. Kaiyuko transforms, and Jahi fights with weapons and magic using the magic crystals. While they fight, Jahi wonders why Kaiyuko is so obsessed with destroying the crystal, and her opponent reveals that when she was young she was often bullied so to prevent others from facing misfortune and unhappiness she collects and destroys crystal. Jahi calls her an idiot for trying to take on all the misfortune in the world, and she has learned from her time in the human world she needs people to support her. She proposes a deal where Kaiyuko gives her magic crystals and in exchange Jahi will be her friend to show her how misguided her mission is. Kaiyuko takes the deal and is excited to finally have a friend, making Jahi uncertain about her proposal. Jahi soon finds that Kaiyuko is a very insistent and excited friend, and agrees to visit Kaiyuko's house. But when Kaiyuko is uncertain about their friendship, Jahi watches as the magical girl breaks down. Kaiyuko then reveals that she was given a mission to destroy the Dark Realm, and she actually had no problems with Jahi's home. And when they arrive at Kaiyuko's house Jahi discovers it is a complete dump. Kaiyuko also tells her a ghost is living in the house, but Jahi finds out that the ghost is actually the Dark Lord squatting in the house eating cup ramen. Kaiyuko defends her friend, and Jahi introduces her to the Dark Lord who has also grown smaller since the destruction of the Dark Realm. As they eat refreshments, Jahi determines that the Dark Lord must have appeared after so many magic crystals were collected by Kaiyuko. Jahi declares a celebratory party, but the Dark Lord quickly eats all of the refreshments and drinks leaving Jahi with nothing. Kaiyuko prepares a takeout feast for her friend, 
But once again the Dark Lord quickly eats everything to Jahi's despair, leaving her second in command a single piece of octopus. After dinner they talk about Kaiyuko's mission, and the magical girl reveals that one night she saved a drowning cat but also almost drowned until she was saved by a bright light that gave her powers and asked her to destroy all the magic crystals. Jahi is certain that with the Dark Lord at their side, they can defeat the mastermind behind Kaiyuko's powers, as the Dark Lord was a fearsome opponent in the Dark Realm. But Jahi also has a hard time understanding the Dark Lord because the Dark Lord doesn't really talk. Jahi also becomes horrified that the Dark Lord doesn't seem to want to leave the dump because she loves getting food from Kaiyuko and prefers the magical girl over Jahi. Jahi runs away, but the next day wants to meet with Kokoro to tell her the good news about the Dark Lord's revival. However, her playtime with Kokoro is interrupted by Kaiyuko who wants to spend time with Jahi. Jahi tells Kokoro that Kaiyuko is bad news because of her powers and they run away while Kaiyuko thinks they are playing tag. Jahi becomes upset that Kokoro and Kaiyuko seem to be getting closer, and when Kaiyuko falls into a hole they rescue the magical girl. And when Kokoro proclaims they are all friends, Kaiyuko is overjoyed with finally having friends. Tired of Kaiyuko, Jahi decides to go to work, and discovers that Kaiyuko will also be working at the pub for boss. Kaiyuko insists that it is just a coincidence, and though Jahi is upset she discovers that Kaiyuko is taking a part-time job because the Dark Lord keeps eating so much food. As her senior Jahi tries to teach Kaiyuko how to work, but Kaiyuko is really clumsy and Jahi has to save all of her messes. But after the boss gives Kaiyuko some encouragement, the new hire becomes much better and Jahi is horrified when the boss decides to have Kaiyuko and Jahi work together in all their shifts. Later they review the boss's new cooking and Jahi uses the test to her advantage by asking for improvements so she can just eat more delicious food and try out ingredients like beef that she could never buy for herself. Jahi finds the beef dish more amazing than even food from the Dark Realm, but the landlady arrives and insists that the food can't be profitable. Suddenly the Dark Lord appears and eats the rest of the food. And Kaiyuko is able to get the Dark Lord to leave by promising to buy her a snack from the store. Jahi cries because the Dark Lord seems to like Kaiyuko more than her. And this is all for this video. Make sure to subscribe if you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next one.